This week on the Pattern Master BDC World Championships, we'll cover some different but equally interesting topics. We'll begin the show by highlighting the ladies' action. Then we'll introduce you to some more of the great dogs that make up our game. It's a show with both style and substance, where dogs and competitors strive toward the ultimate goal of a World Championship crown. The Pattern Master BDC World Championships is next. Welcome to Pattern Masters Bird Dog Circuit World Championships. This year's championships, which are our ninth consecutive, are being held in Anita, Iowa at Hanson's Outfitters in the rugged hill country of southwestern Iowa. Over 200 teams of dogs and handlers are vying to prove that they're the best in the world. This year's field has come from the best of the bird dog circuit and national champions from NUX and the UFTA. On today's show, we'll be covering a new addition to the World Championships this year, the ladies event. Let's meet the ladies who are making a run in this year's World Championship crown. I'm Paula Voorhees from Olathe, Kansas, and I'll be running two dogs, Armani and Cope. Hi, I'm Chris Brost from Arborvita, Wisconsin. And this here is Tika. Tika is a defending world champion in the doubles and the singles. Hi, I'm Kathy Walsh. I'm from Dundee, New York. This is my dog, Jack. He's an English Springer Spaniel. Hi, I'm Jonna Kirshner. I am 17 years old. I am from Owen, Wisconsin. I am running my dog, Jake, and Mark Hansen's dog, Jackson. Hi, I'm Ada Fennell. I'm from Atlantic, Iowa, and this is my first dog trial. I'm pretty excited to be here, and I'm shooting with BB and Remy. Hi, I'm J.M. Bell. I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Pine Island, Minnesota, and my dog's names are DJ, and I also run Jack Hines' dog, Annie. I'm Cassandra Bliss. I'm from outside of Detroit, Michigan, and I got Ella about two years ago as a stray, and now we're here for the World Championships. We're really excited and very nervous. Our first featured run of the day is with 16-year-old Cheyenne Bell and Yellow Lab DJ. This young lady qualified for the final runoff through rigorous match play, and now she and DJ are one step away from being world champions. Especially with DJ, I think winning a world championship would be just amazing. Like, it'd be nice to go back to school and be like, hey guys, guess what, I just won a world championship. But um, with DJ being pretty much my own dog. It's nice to win with your own dog rather than somebody else's dog, so hopefully we can pull it through. DJ and Cheyenne Bell are out in the field now from their gate bird. Looks like DJ's found this bird, got it pinned down. There's the flush and good gosh, what a nice shot. Notice how quickly Cheyenne gets on the bird and puts it on the ground. Also, I want you to notice how quickly DJ gets this bird back in, saving very valuable time. This is a team to be watched out for in the future. Now they're out on bird three. She mentioned earlier that DJ was her dog and actually it belongs to John Turnquist, but it's part of the family. Okay, it looks like DJ's starting to focus in here now, narrowing that scent cone down. He is on a bird. Good focus. Another nice flush, and look how quickly again Cheyenne knocks that bird down. Outstanding shooting. Good delivery here. Now we're off for bird five. One more in the bag and she will complete her run. Looks like she's speeding up. I believe she knows that DJ's on a bird. Yep, there he is right on that bird. She's telling him to get it, fetch it up. Go ahead and push it up for her. Man, what a shot. What a great Stop. run. Time. Sit. DJ did great. Good boy. 
Coming up on the Pattern Master BDC World Championships, we'll head back into the field with the ladies, including two-time world champion Tika with her handler Chris Bros. Stay tuned. The Pattern Master BDC World Championships are brought to you by Pattern Master Code Black Upland, Loyal Dog Food, Tritronics, Cox Unlimited, Beaver Dam Kennels, Electronic Shooters Protection, and the National Bird Dog Circuit. The Science of Shot. Good girl. Loyal for a lifetime of legendary hunt scenes. I'm Jenna Kirster and I'm from Owen, Wisconsin. I'm Cheyenne Bell and I'm from Penn Island, Minnesota. This is my bird dog, DJ. And you're watching the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. Welcome back to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. Now let's take a look at some more highlights from this year's ladies competition. Before we get back to the action, let's meet a dog who went from being tied up in a New York backyard six months ago to running in the fields at this year's World Championships. I'm Kathy Walsh. I'm from Nunday, New York, and this is my dog, Jack. Jack and I have been together for about six months now. Jack is an English Springer Spaniel. He's almost five years old. I have two Springer Spaniels. I have Jack's sister, Carrie. I've had her since she was a puppy. I acquired Jack when he was about to go to the pound. He was on his way to the pound. The uh, person that got him as a puppy didn't really hunt him. He tied him out back on a dog house and Jack never really got an opportunity to learn to hunt the way Carrie has. So instead of going to the pound, my uh, trainer got wind of it and she acquired him and I saw him over at her place and I asked her what she was going to do with him and she said, I don't know. So I said, can I have him? And she said, sure, if you give him a good home, you can have him. So we took him home about a week later. Took him out in the field to make sure that he was going to like me and uh, we clicked together just fine. He uh, quarters nice, he finds the birds. And if I shoot them, he, can, he brings them right back to me. So he's a, he's a born and bred hunter. He just needed the opportunity to get out there and do it. What a good boy you are. Our next run feature a dog who's no stranger to the spotlight. After repeating as world champion in singles flushing division on the men's side, 
Black Lab Tika is heading back into the field with owner and handler Chris Brost. Running behind Tika in the field, she um, seems to have a knack on how she smells those birds when she jumps up and catches the wind and can just pin those birds. It's hard to believe. It would be nice if Tika could have another win, but it's just neat competing with, with the girls this weekend and, and they make it fun, so that's the main thing. And how could you not have fun hunting behind a dog like this? Look at the way Tika takes off right off the bat, got the first gate bird pinned down. Excellent shot by Chris. They're off to a fabulous start here. This is the way it's supposed to be done. Excellent find, good flush, and beautiful shot. Now they're off for the next bird. Look at the focus both handler and dog have. Chris talked a second ago about Tika bouncing up when she finds the bird. You can see her doing that little hop right now. She's got it, she's got it pinned down. In this thick grass, it presents a lot of options for the bird. The dog has to work this out, and that's exactly what Tika's doing. Oh, beautiful flush. Another great shot by Chris. You know, she waited till the bird cleared Tika. Uh, Tika made a nice flush there, pushing that bird in the air, but Chris didn't hurry her shot. She waited until she got set to finish that shot. And another great return by Tika here. It saves us some valuable time. Now we're down to Chris and Tika's final bird. And it looks like they found the bird. Now it comes down to a good flush and Chris doing her job of making the shot. Good flush. Wow, did Chris do her job. That's a great shot on a very difficult bird. All right, Tika, just get this bird back in. And here she comes. Great, great run all the way around. Time. Excellent Take job. She does awesome. You're amazing. Like Jerry says, holy cow, you are amazing. With that stoppage of the clock, Chris Brost and Tika become the inaugural world champions in the ladies division. 16-year-old Shine Bell and Yellow Lab DJ grab the second spot atop the loyal leaderboard in a hard-fought runoff. Congratulations to all of the lady competitors who qualified and took part in this year's World Championships. When we come back to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships, we'll meet some more amazing canines, including one who has sired numerous champion offspring. The stories continue after this. Protect your ears with ESP's Custom Fit Digital Series. Every time you shoot a gun without proper hearing protection, you're assaulting your ears with deafening sound. Protect your ears with ESP's Custom Fit Digital Series. The most innovative and effective hearing devices a shooter can own. Wear your set of ESPs and protect your ears. Find us at ESPAmerica.com. ESP. Welcome back to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. We've seen some highlights and yes, some lowlights from behind the gun during these World Championships. Let's join certified shooting instructor Elizabeth Lanier as she gives us some sound advice when out in the field. Let's just take a few moments to briefly go over some upland game hunting pointers. Always be aware of your surroundings. What this means is be aware of where your dog is, where your shooting partner is, and in the case of the 
bird dog circuit, be aware of where the judge and possibly spectators are. Remember, when you're shooting a flushing bird, to focus hard on the leading edge or the head of the intended bird. Remember, it's important to make a smooth gun mount. You have more time than you think. Focus on the head, the beak of the intended target and simply take your hand to that target. Remember to set your feet. In other words, take a small step as the gun is being mounted towards the kill zone and this will set your body up for a successful shot in the field. Remember if you're upland hunting on a day like today where there's a breeze or a wind, try to always hunt your dog into the wind. That way he can pick up the smell of the birds easier. The greatness of a dog is often a measurable thing, and sometimes that greatness can span over several generations. Let's join Jack Heim, who will introduce us to an amazing dog with an even more amazing legacy. Once in a great while, a dog comes along that is not only a winner, but that passes greatness on to others. Ken Nisi's lab chance is that dog. Six BDC dogs, accounting for over a dozen championships, trace their beginnings to chance. Ken brought this wonderful old dog to the worlds and talked to us about how his legacy lives on. Chance is now an 11-year-old uh, yellow Labrador. He comes from a line of uh, dogs uh, pretty much headed by uh, Lean Mac. Anybody that knows labs knows Lean Mac. And when I got him in, in the field, um, he started hunting in tournaments at six months old. And um, at that age, I was already convinced he was gonna win. He's a six-time uh, Pheasant Hunters Unlimited national champion. Um, he was the first ever BDC world champion. He's a uh, six-time Wisconsin High Point Dog of the Year. Um, he's won a number of super majors. Uh, he's won the players, he's won the classics. He's won just about every one of the big big titles. And uh, presently, his, his offspring um, coming into this world championship are ranked number one, number two, and number four in the world. Um, you know, I mean, I think that says it all. Um, as to what he's produced, and them have come from uh, them have come from different females, and he is passing it down now to his grandkids. Um, it, it's it's really what sets him apart. There there you know there's great dogs up and down the line, but the dogs that he has produced, um, you know, are second to none. So where does this greatness come from? Some say it's from sire and dam or special breeding. I'm not so sure. I think you can only get the answer by taking a long look into his eyes. Coming up on the Pattern Master BDC World Championships, we will meet this year's BDC Hall of Fame inductees. These dogs have proven themselves throughout a lifetime of competition and will be honored when we return to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. Good girl. Loyal for a lifetime of legendary hunt scenes. The Science of Shot. The Pattern Master BDC World Championships are brought to you by Pattern Master Code Black Upland, Loyal Dog Food, Tritronics. Cox Unlimited, Beaver Dam Kennels, Electronic Shooters Protection, and the National Bird Dog Circuit. 
Welcome back to the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. Each year, the Bird Dog Circuit recognizes some very special dogs with the highest honor attainable for a lifetime of achievement. The goal of every BDC competitor and dog owner is to have their dog gain induction into the BDC Hall of Fame. Jack Heim will now introduce us to this year's inductees. The BDC tracks lifetime results for over 3,000 dogs and only 20 of them are in our Hall of Fame. These dogs are driven to hunt and perform with their human counterparts and all are winners. Our first Hall of Fame inductee is Scott Peterson's Lab Cherokee. Scott spent some time with us here at the Worlds and here's what he had to say about Cherokee. As a puppy, it was kind of discouraging because I got to choose between three of the puppies and um, I was supposed to get second choice and I really didn't get the second choice and when I had this fat little fur ball come out that was not really what I was looking for. And Because we were looking for him to be our stud dog for my kennel um, that I have. And, and if it wasn't going to work out, he wasn't going to be what I wanted, then we were going to find a new home for him. But um, obviously as things worked out, I guess he got to stay. <laughs> Through all that, he became a kind of an attachment to me everywhere I went. He was with me, he did some field work, he was riding with me on the tractor. And, um, training was very difficult. Uh, he was hard-headed through everything. Uh, he challenged me every single day. There are times that we'd go through there and we'd find the bird and he'd come back and we don't know where he picked it up from. I mean, He'd literally be caught in the field and scoop something up and we would not have any idea where he found it. And we were, you know, we didn't think he had anything. It's the dog of a lifetime. Cherokee is the dog of a lifetime. At a young age, Cherokee showed the natural talent, drive, and desire to excel in the bird dog circuit. Crowned the BDC Nationals champion at only three, he was a finalist in every super major he ran. Always on the edge, Fellow competitors knew he could produce the winning score at any event. It is said that we all get our once in a lifetime dog, and for Scott Peterson, Cherokee has been that champion, gun dog, and companion. Our second Hall of Fame inductee is Bernie Birkenholz's short hair foreman. Foreman passed away young but left a huge mark. Here's what Bernie had to say about his great champion uh, He was just a pleaser. He's one of them dogs, he, he wanted to please you, always, always kept track of you, always made sure he knew where you was. He, he just wanted, wanted to be by you and, and make you happy. Uh, he had a lot of drive, I don't know. He had a great nose, big long nose on him. He always seemed, he was a pretty lucky dog, he always seemed to catch the wind the right way and, and find birds for us. At home in our dog kennel, we got an inside-outside kennel and we got the swinging glass doors. He would go in and out of that kennel so f hard he always had a big callus on his forehead from hitting that door. And, and he didn't have to. You know, the rest of the dogs would ease in, ease out. He always had the big callus on his forehead. Just, he was kind of a meathead. Foreman burst into tournament hunting as a 10-month-old puppy, finishing second at the Top Gun Championships. He went on to win Dog of the Year in 2008, and there wasn't a day that Foreman didn't want to hunt, and he thrived on the excitement of big tournaments. Foreman was only four years old when he passed. Perhaps he knew his time was short, and that's why he accomplished so much in such a short time. Foreman displayed massive power, yet he was a gentle giant in the hearts of Bernie's family. One dog is passed on, and the other is graying. They'll both be buried in some special place. When we walk through that special place, we'll stop and listen for them, but we'll hear nothing. They're probably on a long, stealthy stalk or a very long, silent point. And now it's time for the Pattern Master Shot of the Week. And this week's shot goes to Chris Brose. It takes a lot of focus to make a shot like this when a world championship is on the line. And Chris Bros proved that she was up to the task. With great body position and tremendous focus, she makes a beautiful shot to secure her world championship. Peter, here. And that's why Chris Bros is your Pattern Master Shot of the Week. 
We want to thank you for tuning in to this season of the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. We hope you enjoyed the competition and the great dog work along the way. For everyone here at the Bird Dog Circuit, thanks for watching the Pattern Master BDC World Championships. <laughs> Just after the World Championships, the Bird Dog Circuit lost a dear friend with the passing of Max Roten. Max knew for some time that his health was failing and that his time was limited, and he still chose to spend that time as BDC's chairman, chief operating officer, and competed in BDC events. Max was a relentless competitor right to the end, placing fourth in Top Gun Flushing at these world championships. We owe him much for his efforts to preserve and improve this game that we love so much. champion for the 2011 Pattern Master World Championship, Dodd named Tika and Chris Brost. <laughs>